All right, we're back. Now, first thing first, I said I was playing the game off screen. I did not fight the first elf, the first Pokemon, but I did get a few other things. Now, how much did I do, you may ask? Well, I I explored almost all of this area, and the only area I did it for were these air islands, and I don't have a anywhere to, I don't have any Pokemon that go on the water. But also, I got the three-star rank that fast. Because of all the Pokemon I caught, which are, I'll show you. Oh, nope, not right. I caught all of these Pokemon. Now, these are the Pokemon that I actually trained. I did get a crit and hot, and I evolved a crit too. My v and can become the barrel. And that's about it. But I also caught a Drifloom, a Colby, Paris, Abra, Mime Jr., Shellot, Veneri, Scyther, Machop. I got uh, a female, there's a female Burmy and a male Burmy. And then on this end, we also got Kadabra, Mr. Mime, Mossim, uh, Top Top, my Cherubi, uh, let's actually move that over. And I want to keep that. And then these things right here. I actually caught three Alpha Pokemon. The Alpha Crititune at level 30, the Alpha Aravia at 32, and the Alpha V Barrel at level 15. And I also, and then on my party right now, none of these are keep staying, but we got a Magikarp, a Zoomat, a Geodude, and a Pichu, a Gymchar, and my Hidden Oil, which are all ready to evolve. So we're gonna do that first. First Hidden Oil. The reason they leveled up so fast, me had Pokemon gave a lot of experience. There's Quilapa! We got a Chimchar we in the wall. Bomberto! We got my P2. There's P2. We got a Geodune, which was what I used to fight the Staravia and the Crit Tube. And a Graveler. All my Zoom back. Finally, oh wow, we can actually evolve Gold Mat immediately. Uh, I might evolve to that too. And finally, Magic Heart. Our dopey little fishy. Enemy terrified. There's Gerardo. Probably Tattle. You know what? We might as well. If I can get a Chromat now, it'll help me in the long run. We can cast another Zoom Bat and evolve it into Gold Bat. There we go. There's Chromat. Cutting them out. I can't believe he evolved that quickly. Alright, so now we're gonna mess around with my team, because we're not gonna keep these guys. Rambler, oh wait. You stay here. I don't need Monferno. 
I'm gonna brain Rumi. Can't hear your pain. Uh, hmm, what should I, I'll leave here, what is here, no, no, water pole, okay, that's kind of good, but I need a physical attack more for him, we'll bring much off, and we'll bring Maneri, no, that's my team now, I want to cut out the, uh, what, no, clean up, Ember, flame wheel, put the cat. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Pull that. Yeah, nah, no, that one you got a more fight with. Chromat? Alright, so that's not too bad. Oh, and I also can craft more items now. I can craft great balls when you have to pour tumble fill and iron chunks. You got this one, you're right three. And then feather ball when you're right two. That's an April corn in a sky tum tumble stone. Not really supposed to do that yet. Alright, now that we uh, finished the rundown of what happened, we will now go of my just playing for like six, like five hours yesterday. Ow. Fell too high. I should be okay. I have a fire type, a grass type, an electric type, a water and flying, a fighting, and a normal. Well, last time they said we had to oh, calm down the Pokemon up there. Oh yeah, did anybody learn new moves? I forgot to ask me what is that. Uh, nope. You don't have any... You probably know. I have caught you. No, but you know. Some good move, though. Hey, you, do you know anything? Nope. You know some good move, too. You only have the two. Oh, no. You actually have... There was Spike, Whistler, and Focus Energy. There we go. Get rid of Flash. Uh, oh, that's all you know. Alright, that's, that's it. Let's move. Let's move! Let's finally finish my condition, and then after we do this, we'll come back. Uh, there are a couple requests we had to do here as well. I don't know who exactly keeps in the front. Uh, we'll keep playing lava. Sorry, I'm late. Alright. What is... Oh, so you even your professor decided to join us. Eh. Whew, thank goodness I got here in time. And a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance with her in Alpha now, could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. This is your track type. This is where I long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancient works by Almighty Sinnoh. Probably wordier. Oh, it's pretty to him. That's only a troublemaker here to stun the poop with his rat in. And it's your trap height. I'm dead. Oh my, what a large specimen. Yeah, little wonder Alpha Pokemon appear across the land. They're all as oversized as this one. That's, they're not only bait now, they are strong and may no moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you, nevertheless. And when you are strong still, and then this alpha. Be careful, Hari. Sigh is a potent weapon in an 
and and of himself. Go now and help a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face him, make sure you put my nephew's raw moves at near the disposal. And we have seen the, I have seen them, and I caught three and I've lost three. Pokemon I glow red or alpha Pokemon. Alpha Pokemon are larger than others and may know moves that are rare for their species. They appear to be very difficult to cast. That, that, that just looks wrong. Alright, so it's, uh, uh, we're fighting a bug, so, when you lava, you're the best option on this one. Sorry, I'm trying to go behind it. Press the Y button in every battle to get the action order of all the Pokemon currently in battle. This shows the order in which Pokemon take your up turn based on their action speed. Based on the speed stat. But it also affects in my certain moves and items. Aw oh, man. Of course it used that part. I just went that hard. There we go. And I burned it, so now it's gonna be less powerful. Well, we already caught it, so we don't really we already caught the alpha crit zoom down below, so we don't need this. Ha! You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seems someone best in Alpha like that. It's describing you the legendary hero of old. We better make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing off against such a foe. Oh. Uh, what in the world? We're here. It's the great word here. Yeah. The newest, one of the newest Pokemon, can't learn evolution. He looks upon you with kindness, Akari. <laughs> yeah. Yep, oh, there we go. I say the great word here is taking a lightning to you. That is fortunate. He's an esteemed Pokemon that intact across the expansion of his story while bearing a human on his back. A human in him worthy at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable, truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon and he saw a ride on it. Why is it just like the ride of Pokemon of Alola? Uh oh, oh, so that's here. Professor, I think this thing went smoothly. I'm here on Captain Stiling Horner. She said we'd be able to set up a base camp here once Kari took her, her request. How uh, about that? I know this was a joint decision by Adamon and the Commander, but still, it is truly fine for us to set up more base camp like that. The historic reason is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the state of his Pokemon. Once you're going to coat this and thrive together with the Pokemon, I imagine you should be allowed to use this land. The great word here has taken a light into a car as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. A request for my... That mission is done. Well, if we have to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we need to know them better. And the first step towards it, that is completing the Pokedex. The construction court should be here soon. They'll have our new base camp pitched in no time. I'm probably going to change my outfit again. There we go. So now we can go here instead. What we have here? Our new base camp upon Deer Track Height. It is called, I'll call it, a Height Camp. From now on, when you're set out from the village, you can ask me for the next base camp to start your excursion directly from here. Having more base camps on to make our survey more easier, huh? Well, what? Well, that's that. How about we head to Wallflower like usual? Everything I caught, that was all. 
Yep, not a lot, but we did have some alpha. We thought she was a bat, right? Caught for the first time, different PC. Small amount of money. And yeah, we're gonna need more data on some of these. Thank you. Alright. So a little more and we will almost uh, have the uh, four star. But right now I'm pretty far ahead. And we do have requests later. Many will come to you whole potato milk. We have it for free today as well. Have you all heard the great news? A friend named Cleaver from the rumors. It ended up mauling some of our galaxy bolt and went out to investigate it this morning. The minute before I had a hard time getting all the injured back in their feet. Oh, is this Cleaver that was reported was struck by powerful lightning yet? Yes? I did hear he's been behaving more erratically instead. Now, let's turn the investigation in order. The third floor will, of course, step up in the past. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when research is familiar Pokemon. But I'm sure Atari here can handle it just fine. But that Cleaver is said to be much, much stronger than even an Alpha Pokemon, isn't he? Now, now, you're forgetting that the strength of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are bound to duty bound to research. And since this peril work of ours call for a clear head and fighting fit to heat, you believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. Thanks, Lavington. Much help. The next day? We'll probably change our outfit. Rise and shine, Akari! The boss wants you! Kamado, that is. Get yourself to the commander's office. Alright, well, let's walk out of this. Matt in our uniform. Alright, should be good for item. And after I see Commander, we do have many, many requests to do. Did you get a good rest? Look who seems punctual. Finally realize you're wasting all my little no precious time by bowing to a sham. There you go again, insult me on your false image of my little no as a ruler of time. My found the true all my little no. the current the spot of all future ruler of space. Huh. <laughs> all the space they're in, and still not know what to do with it. You me? Are you really thinking that you make better use of your time than we make of back doing space? Better than some. It's a miracle you show up on time, almighty leader on the Pearl Clan. I worry you get lost in this pointlessly vast space you so fond and never show up. Me get lost in almighty to know great gifts in the Pearl Clan in our world very basic? You wish. I wish that I hadn't let my friends to argue with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I must have Commander Kamado off. Emily, it was you who started this? Yes, another name with those two, I see. The man named Adamant. He's the leader of the Diamond Clan. They put a lot of importance on time, as you can possibly tell. And the Earl of Indra, the leader of the Pearl Clan. They're all about space. You heard what you called it, right? Our world very basic. Whenever they run into each other, no same argument flare up. Seems like they inherited some bad blood from their predecessors, right? Oh well, not our problem. But you have, but you'll have problems if you don't get yourself in the manner of the Akari.
I'm here. Sorry, I'm late. What do you intend to do about that cleaver, Commander Kamado? He may be descended from a warrior almighty sin of letting the message cause him. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adamant. Time wasting is lost. Well, tell me, what would you want us to do? Cleaver is born on the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly when a lord of the Pearl Clan is concerned. If I put forward a human coming, our two clans might end up at any other's throat, just like we used to be. But even Fulton and the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honor, Noble? I don't believe I said that, though. No, it may be. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Kleimer into such a violent frenzy. I like to know that myself. This is as far as, this is as, first, as, far as my clan knows, too. I see you arrive. This is Akari, the newest member of my survey corps. Haha, <laughs> I heard from my you earned word of your favor. Let's finally meet you, stranger from the rift. I am Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's a mouthful, just call me Adamant. If you come from beyond space time rift, will you meet the space where Almighty Sinnoh sent to reside? I'm Irina, leader of the Pearl Clan. Cautious and foresight are my last words, which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Did you really have passed through that rift? I am a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? You're sending this stranger to the multi fell from the rift to study Cleaver? This newcomer with no experience, as the leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time, it's a matter of embracing his new factors without fear. Well then, there you have it. If how, if how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give him the her chance. I'm full commander, let's try this your way. It should be fun. I'll get to see how good you are, Galaxy and Fulton really are. With all your weird way, what are you Fulton about no frame hall and what have you? No whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh may be doing fast, and Fulton might live freely throughout. We're meant to stand a long time, Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokemon for a desire to control our Pokemon. Only so that we can live together. Allow us to choose what we can do. This is your mission now, Akari. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of the situation. I accept. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out in the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. When you wish to fully be accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work your feet to the very bone. Friendly of the Lords of the Wood. Well, that's settled. And there's no sign like present. The Lord of the Wood Cleaver descended from a Pokemon that was left with Almighty Sin of Power. No one po no other Pokemon you yet encounter him compared to his race. Be warned. Uh, listen to me. The galaxy of Finistine has come to the Hitui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relation with the Diamond and Pearl Clan, understand? Eileen, join me now there, Hattari. We'll cover the details of, of this new mission. Eh, Matt, I'm there again. Ah, good. You're already here. Professor Lamington, the briefing, if you please. Yeah, let's get right to it. So, sorry. I understand you may request to find out the call to claim our friendly state. But as you are aware by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing, nigh invincible. Your main force tried to throw in at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent, and even the aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course. Very well. Now let's go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl Clan are here in the Noble because they will leave their Pokemon to serve their almighty setup. They leave offering to accept their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call Noble Peace. 
So perhaps a good starting point for our research is to find out what sort of offering they normally leave for the cleaver. Akari, we need to speak with you. Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. That world might be where Almighty Sino is held for time. The true Almighty Sino, that is. The one that rules over time. Now, if you fell for that space rift, time rift, that might mean you travel through time by Almighty Sino's own power. Think of it. You must be just swimming in this divine might. Well, I've got a favor to ask you, Almighty Time Power. Don't get sunny, Slaver. Well, it's friends. Well, you certainly thought I had a good time, young adamant. We were just discussing your next death with regarding to this whole Slaver situation. Ho oh, ho, you must be the galaxy scholar I heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that novel with me sometime. Now let's see elaborate a little. Those girl plan types have a lot of respect for Cleavers. You heard his title, Born in the Woods? I'm sure they rather get his this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those in the galaxy team of all people for help. And the truth is, we in the night plan have a similar problem on our hands. The Pokemon near to us, us off in the mountains, has flown in the same type of friend he had Cleaver. Now, they cer now there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl family, but still, we, got, we all got to share his suing, and that means we all have had our problems together. But there aren't many capable of us standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we got. You, you'll find Cleaver at Grand Tree Arena, that in the very heart of the Heartwood. If Warden is a boy named Leon. Leon's a brilliant child, but also a bit, well, that's a brilliant can be a blinding, you know. He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish him or not, to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up in the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. Wow, he has sent his teeth and then vanish. He must just value his time that much, I guess. Adam and my weren't wrong. You know, if you to study and perhaps even swallow Cleaver, you must start by missing his abode. Now that we got in the high camp, we shouldn't come in handy for ending at Grand Tree Arena. And don't forget to visit the pasture. Choosing your Pokemon team carefully makes a difference. Well, any more? Alright, well, next, we'll handle that later. Now, for now, next time we'll have that, we'll do a lot of requests, and I'll show you what I got. Tune in for more of Pokemon Legend Arceus. My name's Mike Lay, I hope you have a very good day.